This will be a start of a series of tutorials where I'll show you how to create a very simple PHP member system. Uh, we'll go over how to use some new HTML5 form inputs. We'll do some simple validation with jQuery and PHP. We do some uh, pretty up the form with some CSS3. So um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. First, we want to go ahead and create our database. Go ahead and go to PHP my admin database. We'll call this members. Members tutorial. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and create our first table. Call this. Members, we're going to need, I think, about six fields. We're going to need one for ID, uh, first name, last name, username, email, and password. So, six. I'm going to keep this very simple. I'm not going to add uh, bio, country, state, and all that other stuff. So, let's go ahead and do this the ID. I'll set this to primary auto increment. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and do first name. We'll set this to Varchar, 30 characters, last name, same thing, same thing for username, password, we're going to be MD5 hashing this, so I would just go ahead and do 255. Okay, and then we need the email. Same thing. All right, save that. Okay. All right, so we're done with that for now. We'll go ahead and open up our text editor. And let's go ahead and start working on our register page. Okay, so I got that set up. Uh, go down here. It says we're going to use jQuery. I'm going to bring jQuery in. Okay. We're going to need for script. Okay, just initialize jQuery here. What's the page loads? Okay, so let's start building our form. Create a div ID of I'm gonna call it reg form for now. Okay. Now we're going to build our form. Action will be to we're going to do PHP echo server. PHP self. Actually, you know what? We can just do register. That PHP and the method will be post. Okay. 
All right, so now within this uh, form, we need the f uh, we need the fields for uh, first name, last name, username, email, password. So let's do this. Div input type equals text. Name equals F name for first name. ID equals F name. Okay. And then we're going to do label for F name. First name. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it here because you don't really need to. See, you should know how to create a form, and to save time, I'm gonna go ahead and just pause it and create the form. Okay, so I've gone ahead and populated most of the form, and now I'm gonna do uh, since I've had the first name, last name, username, and password. Now I'm gonna do one for the email, and this is where we're going to use the new HTML5 input type of email. Now, older browsers would just, uh, that don't recognize this, will default it to text. So you don't have to worry about doing any J uh, JavaScript uh, workaround for this. But uh, the cool thing is, what the browsers that do recognize, they have some s simple validation that's, uh, that checks and makes sure what you entered is an e uh, email address. Now, I wouldn't rely uh, on that uh, validation that the browsers do, but it's cool that they do that. So let's go ahead and go ahead and see. Save that. Actually, you know what? We need a submit button. So we'll do div input. Submit. Submit. Also, give this an ID of submit. Now, uh, you might notice that I gave all my input, my form inputs, uh, an ID. I'm using the ID so when I create a simple um, jQuery validation thing, when I validate it with jQuery, it'd be easy to grab the, vi uh, the values for each input by their corresponding ID. Let's go ahead and save that. Go ahead and go to register. Okay, now I hit submit. Nothing works. Check that. Okay. Check out Firefox to make sure everything works. Don't know why that does that. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna do this. PHP echo. I just want to.
Just double checking, making sure everything works. Okay. All right. So now that we have our form, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, leave off here for today. For now, and we're in this part right here. Next part, we're gonna style it. We're gonna use some CSS three, and then we're gonna start uh, the jQuery validation.